In this video, there is no dieting, no restricting, no body shaming, a lot of sweat, Linda dying on the mat, and a lot of love and appreciation for my body. Enjoy, everyone. channel. I'm Linda and I have a massive crush on Lily Sabri. Lily Sabri is this amazing fitness YouTuber and she makes amazing at-home workouts that are actually challenging and I'm exhausted and perspirating aggressively by the end of them. On her website she puts together these free workout plans that literally tells you what workout to do every single day and I saw this 14 day summer shred workout challenge and I was like Hmm, let's do this. I've been doing her workouts, okay? But I never do them consecutively like one day after the other because the pain Every, I don't want to hurt like that every day, but I'm up for the challenge. So for the next two weeks, we're gonna be in a lot of pain. Please keep in mind, we aren't doing this to get shredded or to get abs or to lose weight. I love my body. I love how it looks and you should love yours too, abs or not. You see that jiggle? Yeah, I love that jiggle. I love it. Every single one of you is beautiful and I genuinely believe that. We're doing this because we love fitness, we love getting a good sweat in, and I love challenging my body. Dying, getting killed by Lily, etc. Personally, I believe that having a healthy relationship with exercise is just as important as having a healthy relationship with food. But I'll be talking about that more during the actual video. So yeah, if you want to see me die and what I eat while I die, <laughs> keep on watching. So like, I actually mean like right now, I'm doing the workout, so. I firmly and truly believe that working out should not be a chore. You shouldn't dread it because if you dread it, you're doing something wrong. Change your mindset, <laughs> change it right now because being able to push and challenge and move your body is a privilege that not everyone has. I just did the first two workouts in day one and honestly, they were pretty easy. I'm not even sweating, time for cardio. Find the kind of movement that you love. It doesn't have to be cardio or weightlifting. It can be as simple as walking to the grocery store or doing workout videos in your bed. That is how we make working out sustainable, by finding joy from it. And as you can tell, I find much joy from this. <laughs> oh. I always speak too soon. I knew it. She's gonna kill me. I'm killed. Day one, complete. I'm really excited for day two. That's why I love Lily. She just gets me excited to work out. Like, what? I would rate it like a seven. I'm gross, so I'm gonna go shower. And if you didn't already know, I have a banana protein pancake obsession. Here's the recipe. Oh, and I also had some Asian crab snacks. The pancakes are a beautiful creation. I eat it every single day. That is literally all I need to say. <laughs> then we had some brownies and ice creams for delicious snacks. Then we had a nice, wholesome, beautiful dinner of honey garlic salmon, rice, broccoli, cucumber, and whatever that is. Mmm, so good. But apparently it was so good. And of course, we can't forget about dessert. After my delicious Greek yogurt bowl, it was time for butt and leg day. Keep in mind, I don't work out to look a certain way. I love how fitness and exercise can tone up my body and make my muscles more defined, but I no longer work out to look thinner or toned. The purpose of me doing this workout challenge is honestly because I love to push my body and I like to feel strong. And these challenges let me try new workouts and find new fitness YouTubers. Working out is showing your body that you care for it and that you're giving it love. And I give my love by letting Lily torture me. You are welcome, body. <laughs> Day two complete. Very excited for tomorrow. Honestly, for food, we basically had the same thing as day one. And remember, guys, I eat way more than what's plated. Live in two minutes. 
I want you guys to remember that your weight, size, or your waist does not determine your worth as a person, does not always measure your health, and does not measure your happiness. I work out to be strong. I work out for my health, my mental health, and to really stress and to feel good. That's how I like to see exercise. Stop blaming your body. Stop looking down on it. Stop picking it apart and start taking care of it and loving it and appreciating it. stop underestimating Pilates. I was a solid seven. I love getting the workout done so early in the morning. I have a whole day to do other things, such as eat. Yep, that's all, basically. Oh, these bananas are so perfect. After that yogurt bowl and a little peach for breakfast, we decided to make some banana bread because our bananas were literally black. So I had three slices of banana bread for lunch, followed by cherries, crab snacks, peanut butter and jelly, and then my honey garlic salmon for dinner. Ooh, and of course we had some ice cream and cereal. As you guys can see, I really do eat what I want. And holding up this camera, my arm is in aggravating pain. You haven't even had an arm day, okay? So I started to feel really sore today. My whole body ached and even more painful times were ahead. I'm not ready. <laughs> my armpits hurt. Okay. Five more minutes. Okay, we're doing this. No matter how badly I don't want to do burpees. She's already here, so. Burpee count number one. Burpee count number two. Burpee count number three. She just said we have another round of burpees. <laughs> Burpee count number four. Burpee count number five. And just when you thought we were done with burpees, burpee count number six. I can't even speak. That was a solid 15,000 million out of 10. A sweat from my forehead is going into my eyes and I'm like crying. Like my eyes burn. I still have a thigh fat burner video. Day four complete. After the workout, we had some beans for lunch, recipe coming soon, along with some banana bread drenched in peanut butter, and then some pancakes because why not? And then delicious noodles for the dindins. Followed by a late night snack of watermelon and a yam. Very random, but very delicious. Thank God for this rest day. A much, much needed rest day. I ate some good food, lots of brownies, and pancakes, of course, and did a few workouts with my family, and just honestly relaxed. Dinner was roasted veggies and some bing, and we followed that up with some ice cream. Altogether, it was a beautiful day. And my armpits are still on fire. And you know what today is? Arm day. Although I hate arm day, I love how every day we are targeting a different part of the body. Overall, we have a strong focus on core, shoulders, and lower body, but she really pushes you because she's so motivational and super positive and encouraging at the same time. But when I say she pushes you, she pushes you, okay? It's not fun. It actually wasn't too bad. The abs part is my hair. The abs part is completely doable. The arm part though, not doable. That was a 10, 5,600 million out of 10. Like day, <laughs> day six complete. Another beautiful day of more yogurt bowls, more pancakes, and I forgot to film dinner, but it was probably some type of salmon. Okay, let's have a little chat. I think too many people work out only for their physical appearance, and they forget about literally all the other amazing things about working out, such as improvement in mental health, increased energy levels, help with sleep quality, and obviously it's good for your cardiovascular health and bone health. The benefits are endless, but just make sure to take rests too in order to allow your muscles to repair themselves and to give yourself a little break. Her leg and butt workouts, like, just, they're like, deadly. Um, probably an 8.5 to 9 out of 10. So today was the halfway point. I guess I just wanted to show you guys some progress. My weight was the exact same, but I felt a lot stronger and sorer, but stronger. Although my focus isn't physical change, it's really cool and motivating to see some progress. After some pancakes, crab snacks, brownies, 
red bean soup and cherries and a granola yogurt bowl. Wow, I really do eat a lot. <laughs> I did another leg and butt workout with my family and I couldn't move my legs the next day. It's day eight and it's workout time. I'm literally dripping. The mat is sweaty. I'm slipping and sliding in my own sweat. I'd probably give that one like an eight. But yeah, I need to go shower because I'm disgusting. If you want to see in more detail what I ate for the second week of this workout challenge, I made a whole other video for it because this video would have been 40 minutes long. So I would totally check that out if you want to see it. And as you can tell, I didn't restrict at all. I always listen to my body and never restrict because I know it's not sustainable in the long run. And plus, ice cream and pancakes are just too good. The second week, I think my body was getting used to it. I also love how she doesn't repeat moves and she puts her own twists on moves. It really keeps things interesting. Plus she makes modifications so it can be tailored towards every single fitness level. At this point, I definitely felt stronger. Lily's workouts made me feel undefeatable and powerful and proud of my body. She teaches me how to push myself harder and to test my limits and be proud of my strength and love my body for what it can do, not for what it looks like. Day 10. I think day 10 is complete. Probably six. I was expecting the worst because legs and butt, but maybe I'm getting stronger. Maybe today just wasn't as hard. So yes, for lunch I had three bowls of cereal because life is short and cereal is good. And then I had three shrimp tacos for dinner. And then I opened a new pint of ice cream. How exciting. I literally am like swimming in my own sweat on the mat. I also am like eating my own sweat. It's very salty. Day 10? Wait, day 11? I don't know what day it is anymore. I really needed this break because I couldn't even sit down at this point. Workout. I'm ready to attack this workout or have it attack me. Shouldn't be too hard today though, it's abs and arms. Everything else in my life without you would be <sighs> Bro. I'd give it like a 7.5 arms like I actually couldn't get through like even if I pushed myself There was no more pushing like halfway through. It was just like no, this is not happening anymore I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last and final workout And remember to just check out my other video for the food I ate because I kind of just pasted random clips from that video into this one Today is the last and final workout. Let's get into it oh. Good job, Linda. Well done, Slay. I actually can't believe these two weeks are over. The amount of pain. I just wanna show you guys this picture and this picture. I am the exact same weight. Crazy, because after these 14 days, I've never felt as strong as I do now. And that's saying something because I did competitive rowing. Okay, like I'm being 100% serious. This is the best I've ever felt fitness wise. Ever, ever. I see improvement in my endurance during the workout. I feel stronger and I'm not in that much pain anymore. And that's the kind of improvement that I want to see. I find that by not putting all of your attention on the physical changes of working out, you can truly appreciate the process, the improvement and strength, and actually be proud of yourself for finishing a workout challenge or honestly any workout at all. But it's important to understand that not everyone's fitness goals are the same. Yours may be to get abs, but that's just not something that I personally value or fixate on. But guys, come on. I'm actually impressed, okay? This is crazy for me to see, but I think it's really important to recognize the fact that what your body looks like and its weight fluctuates every single day, all the time, and you just have to learn to love what your body looks like at that moment, no matter what. And if you were to ask me which one I prefer, honestly, both of them, either of them, I love them all. Just one, I struggled through 14 days of very painful workouts, and the other one, I didn't. Okay, I ate every single thing that I wanted. I didn't restrict, I never do, you guys know that about me. For me, restricting foods and putting boundaries on what foods are allowed and what's not allowed in my diets, it's just not worth the uh, mental strain for me personally. But you do you. This was freaking hard. The difficulty level was on the higher end, but if you're a beginner, what's great about Lily is that she does include modifications, and if you just don't push yourself as hard as she's 
pushing you, you'll still have an amazing challenging workout. But on the other hand, if you are experienced and advanced and you find it's really difficult to find workouts that challenge you, this will absolutely kill you if you push yourself. Use heavier weights, add ankle weights, do extra jumps here and there, don't take breaks, and I promise you, you will sweat and you will die. Trust me. Overall, I enjoyed every single bit of it, even when I was crying. She has just created such an amazing community with her free programs, her challenges, and her live workouts. Working out with Lily is literally like working out with a friend who is very aggressive and wants you to be in pain and cry. These workouts are so great because not only are they free, easily accessible, but you don't need any equipment. Like if you have a resistance band, some weights, great. If you don't, great. I also love how it helped me target every single part of my body. I never train shoulders and arms, so I really felt it. Still feeling it, to be honest. And now that it's over, I'm actually gonna keep doing her workouts. It's not because of the physical changes I've seen, but because of the improvement in my self-esteem, confidence while working out, and in my endurance, strength. I honestly feel like I can lift anything. And guys, remember, I simply did this for fun and because I love Lily. Totally go check out her workout videos. I'll link everything below. She has the most vibrant, happy, charismatic energy to her. And I promise you, she will make you sweat. So yeah, I guess that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me die, as always. And I just want to leave you guys with one final message. Appreciate your body. Treat it with love. Fuel it with some good food. And go make yourself some pancakes right now, because that's what I'm going to go do. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. So thank you, Lily. I love you.